people yesterday it was five people four people and one was you and one was jeff <laughs> so there was two and you're live yep i am good morning, morning. folks morning oh look at my hands are all white powdery that's from goo gone <laughs> i cleaned my it ate my skin or what i don't know only the one hand mostly well that's the hand my dominant hand that's the hand i was uh cleaning my uh board with let's see you left the powdery residue on me Uh, like a chalky on it. Okay. Well, now I'm going to share screen. And we're going to work on, uh, we're going to work on some dreaming tree files. Uh, no, we're going to go to Cricut Design Space. We're going to go to the canvas. Now we're going to go to the upload. Oh, wait, I can't do that yet. I need to go to here first and unzip some of these. Um, I want to do the fashionable ladies. So, stop. Let's do fashionable ladies. Fashionable ladies. That's the brand new set. You get it for free if you spend $9.99 on Dreaming Tree, which I did. Because I used up some of my points and I got this for free. So, let's go to desktop. Let's go to Dreaming Tree. And that's where I'm going to extract it. So... Um, we'll work with one at a time. Now, let's go to here and start uploading all the pieces for all the ladies. <clears throat> so, we're going to go to my desktop. We're going to go to Dreaming Tree. Oh, jeez, I can't stand. Where's my view? I, I like icons. I don't like looking at other stuff. Let's go here. So we're going to make the Bella card. Um, that's This is a picture of what it looks like. Look at how pretty that is. Okay, let's go back. Browse. Oh, shit. Desktop. No! Desktop, Dreaming Tree, Fashionable Ladies, Bella card. So let's go to the SVG. First of all, go to the extras and go to solid score lines. I found <clears throat> with the perforated score lines on an envelope and on a card base, it sucks. The rest of these score lines, like all of the rest of this, I'm not. But the envelope, I'm definitely going to do, and the card base. So let's upload this first. Oh, why is it taking me to there? Jeez. It should bring me to where I just left off. <clears throat> oh, why is it doing this? This is going to drive me freaking nuts if I have to keep doing this and going back and it's not saving my folder. Where is Cindy? Cricket, LOL, not the animal cricket. You spelled in your title. <laughs> okay. Now, did I do the solid scoreline one for this? I'm going to upload it again. 
and I'm going to delete this one like this too. Because I don't remember if I used the solid score line one. And for some reason... <laughs> she did spell it wrong. <laughs> okay. Way to go, but Ruby. The desktop. Where's this bloomer you are paying attention. I'm going to go here and drop it in Cricut shit and get rid of that file. So it stops doing that. Okay, dreaming tree. Extras, solid score line, and blah, that. Okay, that is the most important part is that envelope. So that's where I'm going to get a solid score line. Now, um, where is the card base? Let's go back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's go in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Let's just upload right all everything from there. And everything's going to be solid score lines for me. Why is this not saving? Jeez. See, I don't want that as a solid score line. Those are pieces, those little notches. All right, let's go back. Oops. Let me see which one it is. I'm ready for morning nap. Oh, I got the TV too up. Wait for a lesson. I got to read all the words in the movie, and he finally says something. See, I want those little nick marks. So that's why this becomes very confusing. Yeah, you've done lost me. These usually have little, like, cut line, cut little tiny cut spots in them. It's to make things line up. So they make their patterns, whereas you can, you, you'll get these little tiny Vs or a little tiny something in it, and it helps you to line it up. So I'm just looking to see where my card base is, which which file that is, and then I'll go back to the solid score line and get that that file and, and upload the solid score line for that. Well you go girl. Lollipop. Don't look at me, Kylie. May I just go away, kitty? This is going to drive me nuts. Why it's doing this, I don't know. Cool. So that is definitely one you could just upload. This will take me all day if I have to do it this way. Shrimp. Oops. Lagoon. Okay, now that looks like the card base, does it not? So we'll cancel that. Oh, okay. Do you see that? So let's go back here, go upload image, go to browse. Now we're going to go find the FDG up under the solid, solid one called Lagoon. So now that's going to be a solid four line, and it's not going to be dotted. Where that can very easily tear. You saw how it tore on me on one of my cards. Remember that? 
and what's the pearl white for? And so that's going to be an insert. All right, so we have all of our files. <laughs> You all, where are all my files? Okay, they're there. All right, so it started with this green one. So one. So let's add all of this to our canvas because now we have to go through everything and attach everything. Anything that has a score line or marks in it, you have to attach it. No going. I'll reduce my canvas by 50. So everything fits. Hmm. Might show up one day. What the hell is going on? It never takes this long. Of course, I had to update my Cricut Design Space because I haven't used it since Christmas. No. Uh, no, I haven't used it since, what, a few months ago. There we go. It finally... I haven't used mine in a while. Okay, so this is not something... So what you do is you just click on a piece, check over here if the attach is light, lit up. So there's no, no light up on that. There's nothing to attach there. That is your envelope and that you do have to attach that doesn't need it that doesn't need it nope this one yes i knew it was going to because see all those little marks in here those are going to be little tiny cuts and that's going to indicate that we have to uh oh no what did i do That's not attachable. That's not attachable. That's not attachable. And it did it again. And that one we have to attach. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to do this. I'm going to move it all over. I'm going to go to save. All right, what is the name of this file? I forget. <laughs> I'll have to go look it up. I so don't. I can name it properly. Desktop. Uh, Dreaming Tree. Uh, fashionable Ladies. It's called Bell Greeting Card. So. We will type in B E L Bell greeting card. We'll click save. It says it's six, six, successfully saved. Now I'm going to show you a little trick. Say that one again. <laughs> <laughs> Go to your projects. <coughs> and this one here, as you can see, has no picture. So you go here to edit project details and you click on photos down here. There's a button that says photo, add photos of your finished project. So you're going to go here. You're going to go there. You're going to go to bell and you're going to click on the JPG and you're going to click save. And what this does, it gives you a picture of what, what that is like you can see I've done that for everything so I'm not looking for anything like that so let's go back to our canvas and upload the other two cards so we're going to do this 
move it down. Where's the delete button? What did they do to us here? I can't X this out. Delete. All right, upload. Upload image, browse. Dreaming tree. Now we're gonna do candy greeting card. Nope, let's go back. Solid score lines, the envelope. So this is banana. <coughs> okay, I'm finding this kind of frustrating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close my design space and reopen it. Because that's going to drive me crazy. And see if that makes any difference. Because it should be staying on the folder that I open and upload. And it's going to drive me nuts. All right. Let's go to here. To canvas. Can I take me to a canvas? Wow, this thing is so excellent. <laughs> Come on. Upload. So we got one thing upload. Let's see if this works now. Nope. Not sure why it's doing this. Dotted pattern. I'm doing the regular now. Move this way over here. I can't. This is fucking driving me nuts. I don't want that on my desktop. I don't know. I'm just going to move everything into this folder for now. So this one, craft ideas, put in the quilt pattern thing for now. It's driving me nuts. Get out of here. All right, let's see if this works. This is annoying me. There we go. Black SVG. So that's going to have the little ticks in it. Brown sugar. Just got to remember what I'm clicking on. So I don't do duplicates. Powder. Raspberry. And I usually, when I cut out these cards, I try to match their paper colors to the best that I can and, or as close as possible. Morning, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Um, oh. 
shrimp, I think. Yeah, I take yeah. it apart. Main white. So is this the base? Yes. So let's cancel that. Let's go back to upload. Let's go get the solid score line for this particular piece. So go here to the extras, the solid score lines, and main white. So we have a solid score line on our card base. That's what you want to do. Uh, Debbie can't even get into her cricket. It's her computer. Yeah, I'd say so. Oh, I did watch the video of this guy putting this card together, and this card is really pretty. It's called Candy. Green Pearlescent. Yep, this one is super pretty. Okay, so let's check how many pieces I've got. I've got to go to View All, and I'll count their pieces. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we have 13. So to check that, you just go to upload. And I'm going to go count all the files. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then there should be 3 for the envelope. 11, 12, 13. So you click cancel. Go back. And go view all. One, two, three. Make sure that green box is lit up. Because sometimes I think I clicked on it and I go to do my cutting and I'm like, why am I missing this piece? Well, that's why, because you did not add it to your canvas. So just go back and make sure everything is added in green. And now we're going to add this one to the canvas. Good morning, and. Mine's a little slow. There we go. Well, that was I'm too beating. Bad. So let's reduce the size. So I'm we being can, a stick kitten. So that one has an attach to it. So just attach whatever you see says attach. And I'm getting flustered. Attach it. That one's got an attach. I guess if I got a new needle, it'd probably help. <laughs> you have a bent needle. Oh, really bent. The whole, the eye, the eye on it's bent. Attach. Attach. But I've got a tight bead on here. It's like I got to use a small needle. Okay, so that's. Okay, let's repair what we did. Let's move it over. One of them, one of them. Let's go to save. And this one again is called, I forget, Candy Something. Candy Greeting Card. Okay. I feel like a pile of poop. And save it. We'll delete that. We'll go to my projects oh, wow. now. Head congestion today. So as you can see, the candy greeting More card Jen. doesn't have a picture. So you click the three dots. You pick the top one that says edit project details. And you'll get this part where you can add a photo. So you want to go to Dreaming Tree file and find the photo, which is always in the very beginning oh, of the... Look at how pretty this one is, Martha. Isn't that gorgeous? What? This greeting card. Yeah. Fashionable ladies. Cute. It is cute. Mm -hmm. So now I have the pictures in with these two cards that I just uploaded. So let's go to upload now. And we're going, so to, <laughs> we're going to do the last one which is Maisie greeting card. Go to SVG, go to extra. Despicable me with the little girl and she's, oh, fluffy. 
This is silver foil, so let's just upload that. Excuse my appearance, people, but hey. Extra, so that's going on. I can't make up my mind with the air conditioner. Upload. Now we will do the regular SVGs. I'm not sure if I'm liking this, but. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's see if any of these I can find the right. Nope. Well, we'll start with this black upload. Don't know why it's not keeping it there. Blush. Crimson, which is a pretty red color. Elements dotted, whatever that is. Lavender. That's pretty. <laughs> That's funny, Jen. Element striped. Main silver foil. All right, so that's the one that we want the solid score line, so I'm going to cancel it. I'm going to go back and get the solid score line for that file. So we'll go to extra solid score line, and this one is main silver foil. So we will get a solid score line instead of perforated. Because it tends to tear up your, uh, to tear it up. And then the turquoise one, upload. Okay. I feel like. So there should be 10 files according to what I just counted. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And we will add those to the canvas. Now we will reduce the size. Oops, not to 25. All right. So here it says attach, you better attach. This one says attach, you must attach. This one, you must attach. This one, no attach. Nope. This one, I definitely can see there is some perforated lines on there. Uh, nope. Nope. That you definitely want to attach. That's your focus. And nothing on that. So let's move this over. Let's click save as. Does anyone remember the name of the card? We'll just go back here and look. It's called Maisie. M A I S Y. Just like Daisy. And we'll click save. Now go to my projects. Click the three dots and let's add the picture. That is cute. <laughs> Isn't that darling? All right, so let's go to our canvas now and I'm going to proceed to cut all this out. But what I like to do is I look at their colors. So if you can see over on this right side, they picked SS envelope white. So you're gonna cut it with basic white. Elements, blush, 
basic cut striped pattern which means you go back i always go back and, and reference the picture the silver this silver is the main the main base turquoise which would be that elements lavender this one here is a dotted pattern which means it's some kind of uh, pattern paper it's not just a solid paper this one obviously is a solid paper because all it says is elements crimson so that means it's solid the black means it's sol solid and this here uh silver foil which will cut this piece out with it so let's go to make it Now I'm just going to go through all of my things here to make sure everything is where I want it to be. So that's by itself. That's by itself. Where's that silver foil? So for this one here, since I don't have a solid 12 by 12 sheet, um, sheet, uh, my sheets are eight and a half by 11. So I'm going to go cancel this. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this, move this over, move this over, move this over. I'm going to take this and I'm going to duplicate it. So this one here, I'm going to uh, detach. Ungroup it. And now I'm going to go to contour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this purse and that. Okay. I'm, I'm not, I'm not using that piece. I, I mean, I don't have room for those two pieces. So now we'll go back to group and attach so now I'll still get my solid score line now over here we need to detach we need to ungroup it and why is it not letting me do this now I want to contour it I want to contour there we go. Contour. Uh, so we're going to hide all that. Ooh, sounds That's pretty good. good. Okay, so I'm going to delete that. Contour. So I want to get rid of that. So now I just have this one little piece. So... I don't, why is it not letting me attach the group? It? It's still grouped. All right, let's go to make it and see how that turns out. Because now I'm going to move them to their own solid piece of paper. That's not them. All right, so now see it move this there. So let's go to the three dots here, move object. I want to get it off and we'll move it to a red tray, confirm. Oh, whoa, nope. Let's go to new, we'll pick gold. Move it to a gold tray so it's all by itself. And now I'm going to add those other two pieces to that gold one. Move object to this gold one. So now I can fit this on another silver piece of paper. Like a, my silver paper is 8.5 by 11. And these two pieces have to be silver. So that's why I need to move that. So now what's going to happen is this canvas here is going to be removed. So everything looks pretty good. All right, let's go to continue. 
And I have my Cricut Air hooked up to Bluetooth. So I don't remember, I haven't used this for quite a few months. So I don't remember if my needle is any good. Now, let me just stop sharing screen because you guys don't need to see this crap part. Go here, go to stop sharing and go to StreamYard. There we go. This is one of the scoring tools. It's just something that you put in place of where the pens would go. Hi, everyone. I was not able to see chat, so I can see chat now. Um, there's also a rotary tool that you can get for the Cricut Maker, but the rotary tool does not work on the Cricut Air 2, just so you know. So this part here gets installed where the pen goes, because as I go to um, cut this, it's going to ask me for to put the pen in. So it's pretty good about that. And it usually does the scoring. There we go. That part's in. Let's see. Should we change our needle? Or do we need to change our needle? This is a real Cricut needle. It's gold. All right. We're not ready yet because we've got to choose all our papers. So let me go back to my design space. And I usually bring up two de design spaces because one is the one where I'm actually going to print from, cut from. The other one is my reference one. So I bring up all the files just so I can look at um, the, the papers that they used and the photo to kind of match it up somewhat. Like I might not make their colors, but, you know, we'll, we'll still work, work it out. All right. Well, it's doing that. I'm going to grab me a, a mat. Okay, so I don't really need this right this second. So which one am I making? The Maisie. So what I'll do is open up the Maisie and I click on customize it just because I want to see their colors. Now let's go back. So for the envelope, it's basic white. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a sheet of basic white on this and cut. Cut a white sheet. Wow, Ruby's got like a farmer's tan. I do. Uh, lots of sun. Okay, so let's start with some glasses. All right, let's put this on first. So this one here, you're going to see how it scores it. instead of perforated. So first things first, it's gonna do this, draw the score lines. Okay, so elements blush is new. This is kind of like a pinky color, but very, very pale. So let's see what I have for pinks. I have lots of pinks. Actually, I think this, this color pink, it's such a small piece. I'm going to go look in my scraps before I, I ruin another sheet. I know I have lots of colors in my scrap bin, and this is what I prefer to use. So that one's the browns. Oh shoot. This one's pattern paper. We'll set that to the side. So this is the pinks. So I just need a small piece that's four by four and a half by four so by five. Pieces. Let's see how he died. So let's see if I got a little bit bigger piece. There we go. 
So I like that. So that's going to be for that piece. Oh, shit. I screwed up. I well, forgot. Of you... What? I just put push the start button. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. What so did it do? It cut out the wrong piece. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Debbie, I bought the scraper on Amazon. Pretty good price. I think it was only like four bucks, six bucks. That was not what we wanted. Damn it. I already screwed up. Okay, so I'll put this in with my scraps. Cut this piece off. And put this in my scraps. Because this is not what we wanted. Oh. As you can see, though, it's going to cut it pretty, pretty good. Now let's try this again. Get another white. Showtime shirt. has free movies. Well, of course, I've seen them all. Ooh, sleepy hollow. Might as well open a white. This is pretty much the main color of a lot of the card bases. Now let's click on the right one. I forgot to go to the mats and click on this. Okay. Let's try this again. More than Linda T. This one. Fancy meeting you here. Haven't seen you in a long time. <laughs> that's the one that's going to cut. Hi again, sweetie. Don't ask Ruby. Oh, I think I need food, but what? Uh -oh. All right. So for this, this is going to be... Where's my little pencil? So let me go back to this mat and really find out where, what mat that is. It's mat one. It so I'm just going to write it down in the corner. Now, the next one, we've already got this one, so we'll delete that. We already got that one, we'll delete it. This one says main silver. So let's grab two sheets of silver paper because I will need two. And that one's got a big, huge scratch in it. So these are, I don't know what mats these are, but when I get to that mat, I'll know. So we've got that one. We've got that one. This one is called Element Striped. So now I'm going to go look at their photo and look at what is striped and what the, the fabric is. Okay, so it's it's like a drum. So let's find some paper that has silver elements. These are all gold. I don't know which of mine has gold. Let me get rid of that white piece of paper. It's kind of in my way. So I've got these kind of separated in colors. And blues. These are all my scraps, and believe me, I use my scraps. Oh, this ain't. Yeah, let's go look in the patterns. I oh got some silver foil paper. It's how much I of it? I get all my paper in order, so now I'm waiting for my containers. 
What kind of container? Eight by. I need an eight by four piece with some silver foiling in it. Let's have a look see it. what I've got here. Oh, poop. Oh, boy. Let's find the right paper. Oh, this one here is kind of pretty. It's got silver foiling in it, but those are such big flowers. Um, that's all gold. That one's silver. Um, hmm. Okay, let's move this out of the way. So I'll I do can housework. Go. I work at my studio. So I can dig I into my paper containers. I want to put one. Oh, you mean like the 12 by 12 containers? Never have done that before. <laughs> no, that's glitter paper. I started out with two of them 12 by 12s, and that's as far as it went. One of them's full of, like, craft foam, and the other one I think I ended up filling with just crap B card stock with stickers. Eight and a half by 11 card stock. Ah, okay. Silver foil. Okay. And then it's like, ah, oh, heck with it. I built something to put all my paper in. <laughs> Next thing I build is going to be expando to the craft room. <laughs> mm. I wish. I find somebody that can pull money out of their butt. Do you think this mermaid paper would be cute on the drum? And a drum? Yeah, she's sitting on a big drum. Looks like a big hat box, actually. That's probably what it is. Yeah, it wouldn't be bad. I uh, find it better, though. I like back up, back up, back up. That one. That's too much silver because it's basically okay, going to be Okay, then on go the back. Pattern. Go to um, a different paper pad. Well, I'm looking for ones that have silver foiling in them. I know I've seen a couple. That's I need covered containers because I smoke in here. Yeah, right. Uh, this is all. I understand that, Linda. Um... Mine ain't airtight, darn it. Does this have any silver? It's all gold. 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 I know that one paper pad you showed me had some really pretty uh, silver. But it's all gold. Well, what the They're hell? All gold foiling. Everything is. I need food. Well, it's. I'm stuck. I don't know. I'm stuck with. There's these. This is the ones I got from the dollar store. These have silver foil. No, you showed me one a little while ago that had really pretty paper in it. Yeah, but that's gold. <coughs> so? Silver and gold. I just don't think it's going to look good. The gold foiling with the silver back. Well, it's going to be mermaid. I believe it's going to be mermaid. I don't know why that's in there because that doesn't belong. Um, Go through that one again. in the teal 
and there's that one, but that's this piece here, the scrap. Right. If I wanted to use it. I mean, I kind of like that. I might use that one. But they do have it in a different color. So, I mean, that's pretty, but I use that in already a lot of projects. I don't want to. Yeah, that would look them. good for the. I think the flower would probably work. I think the white would look better because the green. Yeah. So let's use that one. This can go back to my scraps. <coughs> Let's see if I can find a clean cereal bowl. All right. So let me get a pencil and write on here which map this is. So black. Not man, back to that one. Is it that drum one? Panel turquoise. Yes. So that is mat number. Three. So I'll just write a little three in there. This is mat. Where did I write it? One. What's mat two? Let's go have a look. Mat two. Let's go check to see what that is. That's this stuff, which is elements dotted pattern. Ah. Okay, this here is not what I need. I can't use this. I need a striped pattern. So if it's gold, it's gold. Sucks being me, but okay. Because that's going to look really dumb. Yeah. Okay, where's my paper pack I had? Let's see if it has any striped. <coughs> Anything striped. Not in that one. Let's check this one. No, it's, it needs to be a striped pattern. And I know I seen striped paper when I was looking through these this morning. Right there. Perfect. All right. So this here is going to that be. That would look good on the um, drum. Yes. So this one is going to be three. Right. Let me go back and make sure. Um, let's see. Okay, one is I need pure black. Um, so I should have, how big of a piece do I need? About five by seven piece of black. A five by seven piece of black. Let's just have a look. Ooh, that's pretty quick. We won't be doing that one. That's too short. There we go. Dig and you shall find. Why is this here? What's sticking on it? Jesus. Get it in there. What the hell? Damn it. 
get in there. Get that off. All right. This is one. That is black. <laughs> now, number two is a polka dotted pattern, and I know I see polka dotted patterns. Let's put this. Let's see if there's anything polka dotted with white. White with polka dots. No, not that kind of polka dots. Yeah. I got I took polka dot. I got my polka dots from Meyer. Okay, those are not good. I think Walmart sells it too. I'm not sure. There's green with polka dots, but that's not what I want. Do I want green around her collar? No. Let's. Okay, let's just pull out another book here. Let's see what we can find in these. Green with polka dots. Shit. It is what it is. These are all plaids. And there any polka dots in all them papers we sent you? Oh, I'm looking. I thought, what's my look? Is there anything in these? Uh, right with polka dots? Uh, no, not in that hat. And uh, not, no. Those are rounds. That's a graphic 45, and no. Those are solids. That's Halloween. Why are you telling me with all this paper I own? There's no polka dots. Uh, black. Black. All right. What is in here? Okay. These are all my individual sheets. Leftovers from books. Like, I don't want to use that kind of polka dot. That's just too polka dot. Now, those are some big ass polka dots. No, I don't see anything on there of interest. Mm -hmm. 
So I don't have anything with polka dots. That's going to look good, but her, her thing is red. So what would I have that would go good with red? That is pretty paper. Her jacket is a solid red color. And this is supposed to look like fur around it. White with polka dot fur. Now, well, that is really polka dotty colors. Kind of ugly. <laughs> I really don't like it. Um, okay, so let me check my lavender and see if there's a polka dot in here because I know there was. Like a purple and white polka dot. And this is double sided. That would have been nice. I have a piece of that paper. Might have some in my scraps. I'll check. Because there's nothing left in that one. I used an old pop. I don't need a big piece. Are you trying to cut out all these cards at once? No. Well, what I'm do you need polka dots for her if she's sitting on the hat, hat, hat thing? Oh, go look at the picture. I'm oh, looking yeah. at one right now. There's no polka dots on there. Oh, for her white fluffy. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you See? really got to look at that. Just use white. Make your own polka dots. Blue little sequins on it. Well, I'm trying to find something. Something that's going to match. See how red her jacket is? No, we're not doing green. Okay. Well, we'll have to do her jacket in red. Just find a one that you'd like to use for the collar, and then match up the jacket to go with it. That's that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take out a red one. Let's see if I have red scrap. Oh, just a bad friend. We got some red scrap already. That's going to be plenty full. So which one is that on the mat? That is number nine. And it has to be, <coughs> it has to be At least seven by seven piece. So, seven. Wait, I gotta go this way. So, if I cut it here. And then cut this piece this way. Oh, yeah. Okay. That piece is perfect. So this is mat nine. By looking at it, yeah. Now let's find something to go with that red as her color. Because that's very colorful. Yeah. 
I really think this is pretty. It might work. Yeah. I really think that's that's pretty. Do you guys think it will look nice? Yeah. All right. So all this you got is Matt. This is Matt two. So we only need. Um, you got a printer. Wait. You got a printer. You could print out a polka dot paper. Four by three inch piece. So I'll cut that out. I am going to cut that off because I don't need that. So this is number two. So we have one, two, and three. Carry on. So that's going to go in my scraps. Uh, four is the background. And it's in like a solid teal color blue. Okay. So. One. La -de -da -de -da -de -da. Let's first see if I've got any in my scraps. Before I cut another piece, so it's kind of a lighty teal color. The teal blue. Actually, I can make it any color I want. Really, I don't really want it to heal. It's maybe a light purple. Let's go with light purple. <coughs> and that will work. So how big of a piece do I need for this? So we've done that one. We've done that one. Yeah. This one is 4.8 by 6.7. So this is mat four. Two, three, four. That's how I do this. Ah. So which purple on here? Well, it's the inside of the card is purple. Um, no, we're going to do the inside of the card in pink. Nope, that's textured. That's smooth. Mm. Let's see what we've got here. Um. Do I have a piece that color? No, that's textured. No, I don't want textured. Okay. So I'm just going to set that one aside. I'm getting ahead of myself here. I picked that up because I saw that. Um, this piece. 4.8. Now we're going to do that in the purple. Okay. That's extra. What was this one for? Pink. What was the pink for? I don't see this on the map. 
Okay, let me unload this because it's not letting me look at my mat. That is done. Okay. Six. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five is done, six. Now we need purple. So we're doing a light purple. And now I need a different shade of a purple. Let's have a look at my shades here. This darker purple might feel good. It's not too dark. The other one's a lighter purple and a darker purple. So this one I only need Um, let's go back here. I need a piece that's five and a quarter by about 10 inches. So, I'm going to cut that piece off. So this is mat seven. Six, seven. These are all scraps. I have to put all my scraps away. Seven. Turquoise. So we did that one. That one is done. Red and the black. Let's go back to the other cut. Seven, eight. So this is kind of her skin tone color. And that's the color I was going to use for this. Because they're using a pink. So let's switch that to an eight. Yeah, that's not eight. So, not eight. Not nine is the red. And we chose red, we got that. And 10 is the silver. This one is 10. So, now we can cut these all in. Actually, I really don't need this big sheet. Let's go back to mat three and see how much of a piece I need. Four inches. Four inches by about eight inches. Okay. One, two, and three. There, now they're in order. So, i just stick this stuff away. That's a pattern. What was I going to use this for? I don't see this one on my mat. Oh, I chose the purple instead of the pink. That's right. Put you back. Okay. This is scrap. That's, that, that's really too small to keep. Now, let's put that up there and get rid of my mess here. This is all pattern purple. Scrap piece. 
on it this time. Okay. Now we can work. Now I'm going to get rid of these for now. Because I do not want to get myself all unorganized here. There we go. Now, there's our pieces. So, done with you. Done with you. So. Oh, shit. Why did this cut it? What did I do? This didn't score it. I know why. Oh, my God. I'm just not getting any luck. All right. I know what I did. So, number five is score lines. Yeah, look, it cut the whole envelope. Cut it all in pieces. I forgot to change that, those score lines, to score lines. They were marked as cut lines. And you need to do that with the card base, too, because it'll cut your card base in half instead of score. Oh, All right, let's cancel this. Yes, and I'll show you what we need to do. Uh, where's my video? I have to share screen. Now, here, this one here, where is it? That has to be changed up in here to score so that this line gets scored. The envelope, the same thing. It shows basic cut. Click on the basic cut. See where it cut it all out? Go up here and change it from basic cut to score. Now, we're going to go and uh, make it. And it'll just put it all back on. So we'll start with the black first. We'll put a black page up here. And let's feed it into the machine. Let's click continue. Let's go here. And let's watch it cut down. And what I like is it gives you the percentage there. So it says 8% done. It's kind of nice. You can get up, walk away. You know, you don't got to uh, sit here and watch it cut. But because I'm streaming, I have to watch it cut. So I did get some really nice paper. This stuff here is called linen cardstock. I got from the dollar store. It's pretty nice cardstock. 
Really nice cardstock. And it is textured. It comes in blue. It comes in these colors. There's blue, green, pale blue. So like if you just need a little piece and purples and the pinks. And it's very thick. So there's the front of it. That's, I don't know if you can see it's got them. Um, yeah. It's the thing. Can you change silver to all gold? Um, actually, Debbie, that's probably a good idea because I have all gold foiling. I'm going to change it to gold. What a good idea. Never thought of that. So when I come <coughs> to Yes. <coughs> now, I don't want these pieces to be curly. So we'll just kind of lift them out ourselves very carefully because my mat is new and it is sticky. Okay, so there's that piece. There's her little shoes. She's going dancing. And there's that piece. And then those ones are garbage. Now, the next piece, I'll cut this off. Oh, I don't need to. It's perforated. We'll line this piece up like that. Feed it in. Okay, so where is my gold? Oh, I see it. Right there. So let's we'll change that to gold. And put the silver one back. So to me, that's a big piece to throw out. So I'm just going to cut this off and I could use that little piece. So that's going to go in my stash. So there's her. This one. Let me just make sure I load this the right way. And it does go this way. This is the one like it looks like a hat box. She's sitting on a hat box. Okay. So this is what I like to do. I like to get a few cards cut out. And where's all my scrap papers? I'm like, I don't have scrap papers in there. Put all kinds of it right here. I'll just use that. 
question. There's that piece. That one you want to be very careful because it's very thin in that piece. And this is garbage. And again, I'm going to keep this piece because sometimes I just need tiny pieces and I always reference back to my scraps instead of wrecking a whole sheet. Okay, next one is four. Let me just make sure. Yep, it's this piece. And I'll erase this just in case it gets close to that. Okay, I need a fresh coffee. That's yucky. So this card is called Amazing Reading Card. I'm going to cut this out and it's going to go in the package with that. The one thing about the cricket scoring. It kind of blows. It's. I'll show you when I. I'll, I'll. You'll have a better understanding what I'm talking about when I show you what I mean. It's not. It's not a really deep score mark. It's very hard to make sure you get it folded on the way it scores it. I'll. I'll show you what I mean because it's really. It's not the greatest score marks. Okay. So this is the piece. You want to be very careful when taking out your pieces, especially things with skinny, skinny, skinny things like that. And I push it out with this because I don't want it to bend. See, that's pretty. And Bar Martha bought me this tool. This is the best tool I've ever had. Okay, so I'm going to cut the, the envelope next, right? Yes. So this is where I'll show you how the scoring is cut. It still works, believe me. It still works. It's just, I'm, I'm just being picky and old feeling. So what it's going to do before it cuts, it'll score it, then it'll cut it. It always does it in that particular order. So that's what it's doing right now is it's scoring it. Keep those pieces. Okay. <coughs> Yep, it scored it. Now it's one cut. And it's got a bit of a decorative envelope, which the gold foiling 
is next. We need to do the gold instead of silver. And Now we finally got the envelope done. Right. A spaceship. Yay. What? It looks like a spaceship. Oh, it does. This next one, I need to see which way to put my, oh, shoot. I have to cancel this. Yay, Linda T. Woohoo! I forgot to move that to its own mat. Move object to a new mat. Call it the orange mat. Confirm. All right, where was that other... One that's spoiled. That's bad. Oh, it's getting close to nappy time. A two piece on sale. He made sure it was the big one. Hmm. Or is it the big one and the little one? I'm confused here now. Something's not right. Something is screwed up. Hey, Sandy. Hi, Sandy. All right, that's good. Elements, right? Just good. She says yes. Okay, yes, what? Yes, it's a big one, and yes, it's a big one and a little one. <laughs> They're not expensive at all, are they? I seen her doing all them, what was it, shadow box? layered things with that tiny little one and it's like I want to get her that big one because I wanted a big one too so I might as well order two okay now we got her eight so, bucks for both nah, that's a good that's a good deal this one has to go this way oh is there not in there and whatever you do, don't uh, don't rub it. It scratches very easily. This paper. So. Let's oh, make it okay. So, you can see it scores it. Let me see. I'm on the wrong screen here. You can see it puts uh, little scores on it. Yeah. So, but it's, they're not very deep score marks, so they're hard to, they're hard to predict, but it still works, believe me. It just kind of gives you a mark, really. Trust the process. Yeah. Very oh my lord finicky. So that is the whole envelope. 
And this is what I do to store stuff till I get to making out, like cutting out a bunch of cards. This is what I do is I store them all inside like this. So next is this one. So this is the actual card base, gold foil. Everything's going to go on to this gold foil. And yeah, no doubt, Linda. You gave it a score. You see the score? Yeah. So it works. It's not 100% perfect, but this is something you just want to kind of push down very carefully because this might scratch it. Yeah, I think it's going to scratch it. Put a paper over it before you do that. Yeah, let's do that. Then I can give it a good burnish because it is a card base. And there you go. That is pretty. So I'll tuck that in behind here. And let's cut out the next piece, which is this purple. This is just a straight rectangle <laughs> that's going to go on the inside of the card. <coughs> I probably should have cut two of these. Now that looks better with the gold foiling. It really does. I don't know how much of this I'm going to really actually like. I might change that. I'm not at all thrilled with it. These are just scraps. That's the scrap. That's that. Drink some coffee. I gotta get a new coffee. I really do. Wait a minute, what is that? Is that just a straight up color? I think so. something on here that's bulky in paper. And I am going to turn this over. I'm going to use this. Okay. I believe this is her skin stuff. Yep, and her face, those kinds of things. So I believe this is going to go inside the card point. But actually, I should put everything inside. So I believe that's going to be the outside of the card. Actually, that gold is. Looks like a beautiful door. Isn't it? I like that. And that's just the inside. You could put a sentiment on there, but I'm keeping my cards all blank. So they can be used for any occasion. Mother's Day, birthday, get well, <coughs> whatever the case may be. And then this piece here gets that gold foiling over this. So when you fold the envelope, it's going to have the gold foiling on it too. It would be pretty. So that piece is salvageable. 
we will not throw that piece away. So that one's good. Oopsies. <sighs> kind of bent her leg. Her hands. Now, and then, oops, I'm going to flip it this way because it's flatter on this side. Not straight. Straighter anyway. And this is the red part that's getting cut out of her. Which kind of looks like it's her overcoat, her jacket. That sort of thing. Thank you. Oh, my feet fell. Damn. And now I don't know which side, the right side. I'm going to have to wipe this down. That's it for me. I got to go lay down. I will talk to you good people later. I hope you feel better, Martha. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye. Oh, poor Martha. She's not feeling good. She's pretty stuffed up. Yep. COVID is not fun at all. Nobody. Those pieces fine. I just kind of like to tuck everything in there. That way I don't lose it. Or more time. I'll never forget when I had COVID, how congested I was. It was awful. It was awful. Headache from hell. I just didn't want to go away. That piece. That piece. That piece, that piece, that piece, and I believe that's her mouth right there. And that's going to be hard to get off. Doesn't want to come off. Okay. So tuck all that inside there. Okay, let me see what this last one is. Yeah, that was a little tiny mouth. So this one here, we can cut it this way. This for the last of the gold. So there's a set of three cards that go with this, and you can get this set of three for free if you spend $9.99 for their um, their um, promotion. It's a free $6.99 value for free if you spend $9.99.
Ooh, shit. I almost ripped that. There you go. Let's go. I will keep that piece and throw this one out. So that's for the purse. And this will go on the card envelope. Like that. So it's got the foiling on the envelope. That's pretty. Love it. Okay. You can go in there. So it can go in there. This one I'm gonna put on a diagonal. It's kind of big. I don't want to bend it. Okay. Shit. So this is gonna go on here. And it's gonna go in here. So I will know which card this is because I wasn't doing this and I don't remember the, the, the things I have cut out. So now I know that this is the Maisie, Maisie greeting card and I can go watch the tutorial on how to put it together. That's that. Now there's another card. There's two more to this set. Yes, there is. These are ones I've already have cut out. There's a whole rack of them in here. Like I said, I didn't label them, so I have no idea what's what they are. I have to go and look that. I have all the pieces cut out, but I don't remember at all what it, what card it is. Why is this stuck? Oh. Yeah. It's very pretty looking. <laughs> Just don't know what it is. Don't remember. That one. I pulled that old wrong. Oh shoot. There we go. Oh, I know this one's a lady. I just don't remember which lady it is, but it's all cut out. All the little pieces, colors. Not bending anything. That one's done. This one, I don't remember either. Oh, it's a lady. It's another lady. You can see the shape. Don't remember which one. I, I have to watch the video to put these together. It's just a lot easier. Let me kind of guess that. This is a little guy. Now, see, it's perforated. I'm probably going to end up recutting these card bases and these envelopes. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's perforated too. And they, did they just tear off? Anything that you have to fold, you should never perforate. So this has got pink foil, gold foil, oh, lavender. Yeah, they, I think this is a pretty card. I just have to recut it. Unfortunately, all of these ones that, oops, that, um, that got perforated. I wasn't paying attention to any of that. Same with this. This is why I'm not even making these ones because they're all perforated, the card bases. And it just, I just don't trust the perforated. Because I made one card and the perforated edge of the card damaged. 
but this is a gatefold card. Not a whole lot to it, really. Why is it two layers? Beats me. I don't know. Oh, I see. These are the panels. Oh, right. They go between, I think. Yeah. Is this the inside? This is the inside. Yeah, I don't know why you do that in doubles. That's kind of dumb. Anyway, it's all perforated and it just doesn't give me any encouragement to want to do them. Looks like I'm going to have to recut. Hopefully, I have the same green. So that's a pretty green. Yeah. But it's perforated. And it rips very easily. Why there's two of each, I don't know. There's a reason for it. There definitely is a reason. Don't know. We'll figure that out. I'm going to cross that bridge when it comes. There's that one. This one is another gatefold one. It's got two pieces, two in the white for a reason, I guess. And one of them I done. One one is done in textured. The other one's in smooth cardstock. So I really don't know. I think these were textured cards, to be honest. And then there's that one. It's a purple. So, we'll figure it out. It just takes time to recut them, that's all. Just the envelopes and the card bases. But these got fancy, fancy shit in them. So, <laughs> yeah, you got to be careful with those. Because uh, they will rip. And I will, once I recut them, I will put the names of what these are because right now I just don't remember. And it's hard for me to do that. That just keeps them separated. And where's the other ones? And these are the dad, the masculine ones. Two. This one's the superhero one. I never finished it. I did start it. Because I have it all inked up. It says super dad. That's the superhero one. Ripped paper in there. I'm not sure what that's for. <laughs> and this one I kind of started too and I never finished it. It was a happy Father's Day one. Oh, no, I didn't start it. I did ink it up. I think it goes on the outside like that. And that goes underneath it. Over top. Something like that. I did ink that up too. So my intentions were good. Just never got around to doing it. Because I got the envelope glued. It says D, Dad. I'm surprised the superhero. Oh, yes, there is something that goes on the outside of this. I remember. Because there's marks for it. Yeah, something new on the outside of that. Where is it? This does. This goes on the outside. I remember correctly. Yep. Yep, 
because you line it up there, you line it up there, and that's what goes on the outside of that envelope. That's cute. I really like how they do their envelopes, don't you guys? I think they're really cute. So those are two masculine ones I have left to make. I haven't finished. And I believe that's all there's left in that. You know, I've already done these ones for my fair. I'm going to sell these at my craft fair. I think it's going to look neat night. Oh, Joyce, I'm so sorry to hear that. You lost your husband to COVID. Jeez. Um, these are just, this one's just a little simple happy birthday card. This is the happy Father's Day card. I don't remember what's inside, if anything, nothing, just blank. But I do love the, the little chef hat on it. This is so cute. French fries. <laughs> then the beer one. The beer one's nice. It's got um, Happy Father's Day inside. And that, they offer you the print and cut. So you print it and it cuts it out. It's really easy. This one's really cute. I love all the layers of the glitter for the foam. <laughs> the man card. Come on. Is your issue? That's another dad one, and I know there's nothing inside these. They're just left blank. Hey, dad. So they could be for Father's Day, birthday, whatever. That's why I like to leave them as an all-occasion card. This one, I did put Father's Day in it. And that's a Father's Day, strictly for Father's Day. Now, there's a whole set of these, and I've only made one. And that's layer after layer after layer to get all those colors in there it's really majorly layered in paper it's very pretty so is the envelope there was a set of four of these there was a pink one and i used it because i gave it away to somebody i really enjoyed making these these are really pretty and their flowers are staying three-dimensional you can see so are those they're all staying three-dimensional so there is a set of four of that that was just an XO one like happy Valentine's Day maybe these here ones I like to leave blank again this one's blank this one is a gatefold look at the envelope is pretty too this one's a gatefold one So it just opens up like this. Oh, this is a Happy Mother's Day one. So that's a Happy Mother's Day card with the gatefold. So. And that's the envelope on the back of this one. This one was fun. Smile is the best dress. Is I use that sentiment. It was from, I have a book of sentiments. And I thought that would be cute in there. Smile is the best dress because, of course, it's a dress. And that's the card. It's so pretty. 
I love that card. And of course the envelope is nice too. It's a pretty envelope. And then of course these girls. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Again, I regret it because I made all of these before I realized, I forget which card. It was one of my Mother's Day cards I made for my mother-in-law. And it's split here. So I had to add a whole new backing to it because of the perforated edge. And these are perforated. But I ain't doing that anymore. That's really cute. Little happy birthday card. This one's cute. And it's keeping it. It's keeping it. Um, dimension and everything on it. Oh, so pretty, this card. So yeah, his cards, I didn't do all of his cards the same colors. As you can see, I have to alter them the same way most people would. And it's best to store these on their sides so you don't put pressure on um, your dimensional cards. So I try to just keep them standing up like that in a, in a box. Yeah, I don't want I don't want these squished. And when I display them, I'm going to be making display boxes for my craft table. I'll be doing that here, and uh, they'll just be like just regular display boxes, just to stand up. You know, a few cards people can look through. Like the the display boxes will be labeled female, uh, child, because there's a child set. Lots of child sets I bought. I just haven't uploaded them or started making them yet. All from Dreaming Tree. I've had, I have lots on my other computer that I haven't even touched. Of children, men, you know, all occasion Christmas ones galore. So yeah, that's um, that's it. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm getting out of my craft room. I don't feel like being in here. Let me go cover up my mat, though. I really don't know if I used the right side. Yep. Or the wrong side. So I'm off tomorrow. I might go live again. But going live for five, six people ain't worth it for me. So just bear in mind. Because I'm never doing anything anybody likes. There's no, no winning. And that's that. So you guys have a good day. See you soon. Bye, everyone.